Okay, we have a Asus laptop. This is the S551L. And apparently when they turned it on this morning, uh, this is what happens. The login screen comes and then it just flashes off. So I can't enter any password, it just keeps crashing the login screen um, application. So data is most valuable on this, so we're gonna see if we can log in at all. Yeah, normally we should get a password pop-up, but we don't get that, so I'll show you on the screen. As you can see, it's doing it on the HDMI as well. So that tells us the issue is something else. I need to get a different charger. Okay, that should be charging, good, okay. So what are we gonna do? So first, data is most important, so we'll take a quick backup of the data. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to force shut down the unit. Okay, force shut down. We'll put it into a a Linux recovery. We'll take a dump of their data. So delete rest two. I7 fourth generation. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make our external drive as the bootable drive. Access denied, okay, so secure boot is enabled. Disable secure boot. Let's try Ubuntu. We'll connect the HDMI. Okay. We 
Okay, let's have a look. See if the internal hard drive is good. Okay. So it's got two partitions. Let's see if they both have data. So zero percent full. They haven't really used this one. Okay. I'll just blur the screen for now. Just in case there is some confidential data. Okay. Yeah, so there is a lot of confidential data. And let's have a look. Terminal. Hundred and thirty eight gigabytes used. So we'll copy all the personal data into the external drive they've provided. Okay. And probably uh, we're going to ex exclude the Windows directory and the program files directory. Yeah. Okay, and the Windows, last one. Let's exclude that too. Okay, so I'll blur the screen, see if this runs successfully. Yeah, great. So we're making a backup of the <clears throat> of all the user files, and then we'll go ahead and um, fix it up. So 
that uh, this guy here use so that should start increasing 65 gigs okay great all right we'll come back to this video when the backup is finished okay so the copying has finished 162 gigabyte used originally 64 gigabyte so we excluded the system files and whatnot so I have to modify the command a little bit and put the actual path like just the folder name like this and like that to exclude okay so we're going to now let's shut this computer down and see if we can fix this issue Alright, so what we're going to do now, try a few things. So let's have a look at the BIOS first. Um, actually, we want to go into system recovery. So how can we do that? Um, delete F2. How can we put this into recovery mode of some sort? Okay. Take their backup out. Okay, what could be causing this? So we got a 64 megabyte allocated. So it's got an NVIDIA GPU. Okay. Let's um, turn off some devices. Lock, lock, lock. Okay. F10 save changes and exit. So we just want to see what happens when we boot the system without those devices enabled. The WD drive health was uh, pretty good, clean, as we saw in the uh, Ubuntu disk manager. Taking awfully long time. All I did is disable the secure boot. Hmm, the hard drive light is solid. To me, that indicates it may be a problem with the hard drive, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see. It's quite, the blinking is quite solid. Usually, it should be blinking. Okay, we'll let it run. Maybe it's finishing an update. <clears throat> wow, still taking a long time.
Okay, let's see if it crashes. All right, we're still at the login screen. Nice. Put the privacy screen on. And waiting for the username to populate. Yes, I can see the username box. Great. Try to log in. <clears throat> What's their password? Let's see. Okay, we're signing in to their account. We can see the welcome. Okay, so we saw the welcome screen there. There we go. But it is taking awfully long time. I'll connect the HDMI. Pause the video, it's going to take a while to load, so I'll come back to it shortly. Okay, so I brought up the Windows updates to see. No, we don't want to update that. Okay, let's have a look at update history. So today is the 24th of the 6th, so we can't see any recent update here being installed. Installed on, sort by date, so nothing new, and have a look at Windows event lo lo uh, logs, so this is the event logs, sort by date and time, 134, that's me shutting it down by force, let's have a look at the actual crashing of the Windows logon. It's interesting. Okay. So I don't see anything interesting. Let's have a look at applications. Ah, oh, here we go. App crash. Login UI. There we go. Credential provider host. Okay. So we can see this is the problem. This is what's causing it to crash. Yeah, okay. Take a photo of this. But this is the actual reason. So either this file was corrupted and it restored from a backup, I'm not sure. But that's the actual fault. Okay. And that's what the whole issue is about. Okay, could be an add-on or something, or I don't know, something at the logon page. And if we have a look at when this started, uh, 
I see. So we don't know exactly which particular one. Is it the DLL there or the UI? UI? So what I might do is I'm going to clone the hard drive to an SSD and install the new SSD and then do the Windows upgrade which should resolve these problems as well. Alright, so we'll do that. Um, shut the computer down. It's got a one terabyte hard drive, so we're going to put in a a 500 gig SSD. Now, by the way, one thing I'm not sure about is now I've disabled the some of the network devices here on the BIOS. I'm going to actually go back and re-enable them, see if the crashing happens. Okay, we missed that. Okay. In fact, it will be quicker to resolve this issue on an SSD. So I might as well just go ahead and upgrade this one to an SSD now. And then we'll look at this, um, we'll re-enable the device and see if the crashing occurs. Technically it should because we haven't really done anything to those, to those files, except maybe Windows have done in the background that we're not sure of. Okay, that's still booting. Okay, this one, how does this one come out? Yeah, all right, so this one. While it's booting, I'll do it. Okay. Okay, so we're now at the login screen. I'll just shut it down. Hmm, private. Hello, Story Can speaking. Ah, oh, good mate, how are you? Yeah. Okay. So the computer's turned off, let's go ahead, replace the SSD.
Hmm? That's a different size. I'm an idiot. Okay, we're done. Since secure boot is disabled and this hard drive has no operating system, it should boot to our external hard drive automatically. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll clone the hard drive across and then I'll come back. And then we will enable the devices in the BIOS and then see if the boot loop occurs. If it doesn't, we're just going to say Windows fixed it itself. If it does, then we can have a look at the problem further. I'll come back to the video again when the cloning is finished. So we have a good backup of our data. That's the most important. All right, I'll see you shortly. Okay, great. So cloning just about to finish. It says four seconds, so still going ahead.
<clears throat> okay, so. Done. Shut it down. Okay, take out our both drives, invertible drive and the internal drive. Now, what we're going to do is just boot the system as normal with the SSD in there. We should get the pop up of the Windows login pretty quick. That's nice and quick. So put the privacy on. I'll shut the computer down. Okay, we're off. Now back on. Okay, we're in the BIOS. Let's have a look. We're going to re enable network, both LAN and Wi Fi, and the audio, and that's fine. Let's reboot and let's see if it crashes again. And it looks like it hasn't. Hmm, I can see the login screen. Okay, this is good news. So I guess it fixed it by itself. So what I will do is... Um, What I will do is um, upgrade the Windows installation to Windows 10. So I do have the Windows 10 feature update, the latest one. So currently we're running on this, uh, let's see, 2004, build 2004. Okay. <clears throat> I'll connect the HDMI. Okay. Okay, so Yep, we got our ISO file coming across And then we'll do the upgrade and that should resolve those files as well in case they may be corrupted This is, will be a this will be a nice permanent fix And if this hard drive was having an issue Maybe causing corruption. This will also rule it out by upgrading to an SSD. Okay, great. I'll launch that now.
So with the SSD, this should be pretty quick. And I will end the video here because I think this was the final fix. If there's any issues, I'll reopen the video and I'll come back to it. So, thanks for watching for now. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.